if you want to read with us over in the book of Ezekiel, amen, in chapter number uh, 32, uh, chapter number 33, I'm sorry, amen, in verse number 11, and then we want to go to verse number 30, and then read from 30 uh, through 33, amen, and I want you to listen real close uh, to the reading of God's Word, amen, and uh, and hopefully and prayerfully Ezekiel chapter number 33, amen, verses number 11, and then starting at 30 going through verse 33, amen, and uh, the reading of the Word of God, amen, Ezekiel chapter number 33 and verse number 30, say unto them, as I live, saith the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, amen. Uh, listen to that one more time. Say unto them, as I live, saith the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways, for why will ye die, O house of Israel? Amen. Amen. And then, now in verse number 30, it said also the Son of Man, now listen real close to this verse right here. It said also the Son of Man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee. Amen. By the walls and in the doors of thy house and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word uh, uh, that cometh from the Lord. Now, verse number 31. And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after covetousness. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument for they hear thy words but they do them not. And then verse number 33 and when this cometh to pass and lo, now you notice in parentheses amen when he said and when this cometh to pass and then in parentheses, lo, it will come. Amen. 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 Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Father, dear Lord, it's again, God, that we come to you today. Father, thank Amen. you, Lord, for this day. Thank Amen. you, Lord, for another time, God, of being in your house. And Lord, we pray today that, God, that you would have your way. Lord, in everything this morning, God, that is said and done. And Father, we pray, Lord, above everything that, God, your name be lifted up, Lord, higher, God, and Father, than any other name. Lord, we come to you, God, as some of us we know how. Father, asking you today that, Lord, if we've done or said anything throughout this yes, week, Lord. Lord, it would hinder this, God, we pray today, Father, that thou would forgive us and Lord, move us up closer to the cross. And God, we pray this morning, Father, just to make preaching easy. And Lord, we pray, God, if there's a heart in here today, Lord, that needs to know Thee, and uh, God, the free part to sin, that Lord, this might be the day. God, that this might be the hour. Lord, that they would turn over a, a, a heart to Thee, God, and let You, Lord, heal of God. We thank You today. Lord, for what you've done. Thank you, God, for uh, what you're getting ready to do. And Lord, we pray today, God, to use us in a, in a mighty, mighty way. And Father, whatever's accomplished, Lord, that uh, Father will not fail, God, to bow our head and Lord, to give you the praise. God, because we ask it all in Jesus' holy and precious name, we do pray. And amen and amen. amen. I, if I had a thought to lay upon this today, I'd like to use a thought just for a little while on 
the things that we ought to do. Amen. 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 The things that we ought to do. Uh, we find here in, in these verses of Scripture as uh, Ezekiel had come before uh, the children of uh, Israel. Amen. And he began to uh, tell them what thus saith the Lord. Amen. Amen. This evening, brother, I tell you, if you want anything that you can believe upon, that you can uh, depend upon, it's the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Because Amen. it ain't ever going to change. It is always going to be the same. We find here, amen, starting out in verse number 11. If you back up into Ezekiel in chapter number 33, he talks about setting a watchman over the house of Israel. Amen. And how that, how that watchman is responsible for sounding the sword. Amen. Whenever uh, judgment or whenever evil uh, was about to come upon them. And the Bible also tells us today that if this watchman fails to uh, blow the trumpet and he fails to tell them the truth, amen, that uh, the blood will be required at their hands, but not only their hands, but at the hands of the watchman, amen. amen. Brother, I tell you today, whenever I stand before God, I don't want anybody's blood on my hands, amen, amen. amen. that is set before us in a congregation, amen. I want to give you the truth, amen, tonight, because why? Uh, the truth will set you free. Amen. 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 If nothing else will, uh, the truth will work. Amen. We find here in verse number 11 uh, uh, that uh, uh, the Lord said, uh, I have no pleasure in them that die in their wickedness, honey. Uh, listen, that ain't what God come for. Uh, God come uh, that he might save you uh, from your wickedness. Amen. And he might save you uh, from the ways of this whole world and bring you into him. Amen. That he might be able to give you life and give it to you more abundantly. Amen. Amen. God has no pleasure. He has no joy when somebody dies without him. <coughs> Amen. This evening, a matter of fact, I, I believe this morning that when somebody dies lost in their sins, Without God, I believe it breaks God's heart. Amen. Amen. Because God paid such a price. Yes, Amen. Amen. For mine and your sins. Amen. 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 We find here that the Lord said in verse number 11 that I have no pleasure in them that die in the wickedness. Amen. Right. Amen. Now we're going to start getting down into the nitty gritty of the message. Amen. We find here in verse number in verse number 20. Amen. This scene as Ezekiel was a, was a preaching. Amen. And as he was a warning the children of Israel. Amen. And brother, I'm telling you today, the Bible said that and the Lord told Ezekiel, said Ezekiel, and they're still talking against you. Amen. Amen. Tonight, you know what they was doing? Amen. They was getting off in behind closed doors. Amen. This evening, and I believe they was running Ezekiel down the road. Amen. They said, I believe some of them say, well, Ezekiel don't have no business of preaching then. Amen. And if you read and study this lesson, he was complaining because God wasn't being fire. Amen. They said that God was on fire towards them to bring judgment. Amen. Amen. Now, I tell you today, God ain't never unfair in anything right. that He does. Right. Amen. Because He is a holy, holy God. Amen. Tonight, right. And we find that, that God told Ezekiel, Amen. Some of these people are, are talking about you. Some of them are running you down. Amen. They say, Brother, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. And the best thing you can do in your life is to keep your mouth off of the man of God. Amen. Amen. Tonight, some things that happens in your life uh, uh, that you never wish to have. Uh, right. Amen. Tonight you got to be careful uh, of what you say uh, about the man of God uh, and about the people of God. Uh, I, I'm here today to warn you uh, there's a hell to shun uh, and a heaven to gain. Uh, and I remember Ezekiel who uh, was telling them uh, you're going to meet destruction uh, and that in the future uh, there's a brighter light. Uh, in the future, there's a brighter day. In the future, of the children of Israel, they're going to be coming together. And Ezekiel was trying to help them in the Word of God. Amen. 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 
tonight. Now Amen. listen to what they done. Amen. Whenever they would come into the assembly, Amen. They seen and these children that had been running their mouth. Amen. The ones that had been degraded. Amen. Ezekiel. And the ones that had been talking about it. Amen. Did I guess where they was at? They wound right up in the assembly. Amen. They were sitting there and I believe they looked at Ezekiel and put that pretty little smile on their face. Amen. In other words, I was saying I just want to hear what God has to say. Amen. 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 I tell you today, hearing ain't enough. Amen. 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 You can hear the word of God until the cows come home and still be lost and done without this Amen. Man called uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, amen. Tonight you say, preacher, uh, we got people like that today. Well, of course we do. Uh, amen. I got people that I think I always ought to be doing something uh, that I ain't a doing. Uh, amen. Tonight, but what I'm a doing uh, is trying to mind God uh, in everything that I do. do. Uh, so tonight, uh, I just keep your mouth off of me and listen uh, and what I say the Lord. If you ain't got nothing good to say about the preacher, go out and talk to your dog. They may, they may not listen. Listen, and Ezekiel said here in verse number 31 that they would come in. Amen. Tonight, boy, I tell you, we got people that come into the house of God. Amen. On Sundays, we got people that come into the house of God on Sunday night. We got people that come into the house of God on Wednesday night. Amen tonight. And boy, I'm telling you what they'll, they'll look you straight in the eye. Amen tonight. They'll seem like they're enjoying. Amen. What you're preaching on. Amen tonight. Trying to feed them out of the Word of God. And trying to show them the way to live. Trying to show them the way to walk. Amen tonight. Trying to show them right. Oh, Brother David, the only way we can live right. Amen tonight is to have Christ in us. And us in Him. Amen. The Bible said that all of our righteousness is a stealthy rags. Amen. That all the righteousness of God tonight, it will set you free. Amen. And boy, they'll sit in the house of God and they'll be so tentative. Amen. Tonight, boy, and I tell you what, they'll listen tonight. You know what? Whenever they get out of the house of God and they get right back out into the world, they do the same thing they was doing before they ever come in. Sometimes, sometimes I, I think people in the house of God, amen, sometimes I think people in the house of God, amen, just pretend like they're listening. Amen. Tonight they don't let anything creep down into their heart. Amen. Tonight they block it out of their heart, brother Ed. Amen. Tonight they'll get out. Amen. Tonight the first thing that pops up. Amen. That God wants them to do something. Amen. Tonight you know what their excuse is? I'm too busy. Amen. I got too much on my plate. Hey, you got time to go to Walmart. You got time to go to Kmart. You got time to go out and eat. You got time for everything. What about taking a little bit of time after a bank? James said uh, over in the book of James, uh, he said, Be not a hearer only, deceiving uh, your own self. Amen. Amen. You're here of the Word of God. But until you let the Word of God get down into your heart, Amen, and let God motivate, Amen, the love in your soul. 
Amen. Tonight he'll let God touch you. Amen. To get away from the things that you should get away from. Amen. To start doing the things that you ought to be doing and quit the things that you shouldn't be doing. Amen. And God can do that for you. Amen. Tonight, but if God can straighten anybody out. You Amen. might say, preacher, I'm too far ago. You ain't dead yet, are you? Amen. Amen. You're not laying Amen. six foot in later. Maybe you're not too far ago. Amen. And because God's hand I can reach further down Amen. than we can ever reach up. And He has the answer if we want life. Amen. Tonight you talk about life. Everybody wants to live. Everybody wants to enjoy life. I might I say to you, if life is so important, why Because if you're living out of the will of God, you're living like you're dead. Amen. Amen. Because you won't know what you are dead. Amen. You're dead in the trespasses of sin. Amen. Children brought up in the house of God. Amen. Ever since they've been knee high to a grasshopper. Amen. Tonight and they'll come and they'll, they'll sit down and they'll listen to the word of God. Amen. Tonight but they never take it down into their heart. They never let it abide in their life. They never let that light shine out. But for Jesus Christ. Amen. And you want to know why? Because there ain't nothing in there to shine. That heart is still filled the darkness. Amen. And I, you might say, well, preacher, I don't know why people do this and why people do that. Hey, a sinner's going to do what a sinner does. Amen. And, I, and boy, I tell you tonight, a child of God ought to do what a child of God is supposed to do. We need Amen. to love God with all of our heart, with all of our mind, with all of our strength. Amen. And I, because one day after a while, it's going to pay off in the end whenever the Lord unlatches his arms around us and he takes us home and to a place called glory. I mean, they more than sitting in the house of God and being a hearer of the word. And I pray today, and don't deceive yourself and don't deceive anybody else. Amen. To be a doer of the word of God. Amen. Amen. Ezekiel said, well, Lord, they're standing in here listening to me. Amen. And then you know what they done? They made a lovely song. Amen. Out of what Ezekiel was talking about. Amen. Tonight they began to, they began to sing that song. Amen. I, I will tell you something. Amen. I'm going to be as honest with you as I know how. Amen. Because I'm the watchman of the house. Amen. Tonight, if you're doing anything in the house of God, Amen. If you're teaching, if you're singing, Amen. If you're preaching anything that you do in the house of God, Amen. Tonight, if God ain't a living in the center of that heart and that light ain't a shining, and you're not a doer of the Word of God, uh, my friend, you're spinning your tires in the mud. Amen. 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 Because God don't get no glory and He don't get no praise out of it. And as a matter of fact, I believe God looks down sometimes and just shake His head. Amen. So I wonder what in the world hey, do they think they're doing? Amen. I know their life. I know how they live. I know they're a hearer only. And now they're up here trying to praise me. Hey, don't be a bit more no matter of what it's about than a man in the moon. Listen tonight. Honey, we need to be careful when we get behind this old desk. Hey, Amen. Tonight, I don't never. I want to get behind that thing. I'm being out of the will of God. Honey, I want my light and to be right in the center of His will. And when I stand I'm behind this whole field, and because you want to know why, this is holy ground. And boy, in order to get there, you need to be holy. And God said, be thou be holy. And because I'm holy, you can be holy also. And brother, I'll tell you today, there's a lot more to it than showing up on a Sunday morning. people here in Ezekiel, they had an excuse for everything. They made one of the excuses that they had before God said, God, you ain't fire. They, made, they, they actually accused God of not being fire. These people in our world today, 
Amen. Some little old something happened. Amen. The first thing that will come out of their mouth. I can't understand why God allowed that to happen. Amen. They say that we had a shooting in the schools here a while back. Amen. They say that somebody come on and said, well, I can't see why God I didn't stop that shooting. Amen. There's another that wrote down below. Hey, remember, you took him out of the schools. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. He's doing everything the same way that the children of Israel done. Amen. Amen. Tonight we're playing church. Amen. We're playing the part. Amen. Tonight. But you know what really counts is what really is in here. Amen. Tonight. I know beyond the shadow of a doubt. Hey, Brother Eddie, I'm saved. Amen. I know beyond the shadow of a doubt I'm going to heaven. I know when I come over here on a Sunday morning. Amen. I can step up behind that pulpit with a clean heart. Amen a clean conscience uh, knowing that God is going to work in me a uh, uh, mighty mighty way listen uh, uh, brother you want to know how that happens uh, you got to sell out uh, out of God amen tonight uh, you got to give God a uh, uh, first place in amen. your life uh, he don't want second uh, he don't deserve third uh, he wants to be number one uh, amen one of the commandments was uh, uh, thou shalt have uh, no other gods before me uh, listen today I I'm sick and I'm tired of people trying to live however they want to live and then trying to raise a hand and praise his name. Oh God, listen, he's a holy God. He's a righteous God. He is a God that deserves the very best that we can give to him. I surrender your life and let God give into your heart. Amen. Amen. We got we got people in America. Man, they so mixed up it ain't even funny. Amen. Tonight they think everything goes. Amen. Tonight they think the law of God. Amen. Don't stand for nothing. Amen. But I tell you this morning, the law of God stands for everything. Amen. 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 Tonight the law of God is the law of God. Amen. 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 And it's the same law and that me and you're going to be judged by Amen. one of these days after a while. But old Ezekiel told him, he said, it's a coming. Amen. And the Lord, he put it in a parenthesis. Hey, lo, it will come. Amen. 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 I tell you today, Amen. America is a headed to judgment and just as fast as she can go. Amen. And the book of Psalms David said, he said, the nation that forgets God shall I'll be casting in the hell. Amen. Right. Boy, I Amen. tell you, America today is about as far away from God. Amen. As they've ever been in Amen. their life. Amen. And we're taking everything out that has anything to do with Amen. Jesus and let everything else come in. Amen. Listen Amen. tonight. Brother Ezekiel told them. He said, there's something that you can do. You can repent of your sins. You can Amen. repent and ask God to come in your heart uh, and to come into your life uh, and set in a boat uh, up in your life honey. Uh, listen today it's much more uh, than coming in uh, to the sanctuary uh, and hearing the word of God uh, once we hear the word of God what are we going to do with it amen right. Right. what are we going to do with it what are we going to do with it what? I'll show you what's happening in America today in America today, as you look across the lands, amen, if you ride up and down these roads on a Sunday night, amen, tonight you're going to find there's going to be a lot of churches. Amen, they're closed. Amen, amen, tonight they don't have no lights on. Amen, the doors ain't unlocked. Amen, tonight you want to know why if you ask them why. You know what they'll tell you? Because preacher, there ain't enough people interested in it. Amen. To keep it open on Sunday night. It's a shame. Amen. Amen. Same thing on Wednesday night. Amen. Wednesday night, churches all over the country, they've had to put a padlock on the door and leave the lights off. Amen. Amen. Tonight, because God, uh, other people in the sanctuary thing, they get enough of God in our service on a Sunday morning and to do them all week long. Amen. Boy, if you can do that, I will tell you right now, you are a lot stronger than I am. Amen. Hey, boy, I mean it every Sunday morning. And every Sunday night, Wednesday night, and every time in between that I can get a hold of, amen, I need to be in the house of God. 
is more than just hearing of the Word of God. The Bible said that if we're a hearer only, we deceive our own self. Amen. And our people wonder sometimes what in the world is wrong with my life? Why ain't God a blessing me? Well, look at how you live. Amen. And I sure want it. A full-time God on part-time service. And it don't work like that. Get your mind and get your life in line with the Word of God. And God will bless you. People today, today that will be in that our churches all across the country. Amen. And this, this is the sad part of it. They'll come into our churches on Sunday morning about halfway empty. Amen. And boy, I'm telling you what, instead of letting God help them, instead of letting God put His arms around them, amen, they'll leave out of the church on Sunday morning still half empty. Amen. And they'll try to run all week long. Amen. All the half a tank. Amen. This thing to listen today. God means for us. We need to mean business. Amen. Amen. Whenever I signed up. Amen. Whenever the Lord put my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. I was a young Christian. Amen. 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 Tonight, and boy, I'm telling you what. God said, son, I got something I want you to do. Amen. Tonight, you know the first thing that He put me to do. Amen. Tonight, I'd go door to door. Amen. And knocking up on the door. Did I know what I was doing? Not really. Amen. But I'd knock on the door. Amen. And I'd tell them from what church I was from. Amen. Tonight, sometimes I, I'd open up my mouth and say, boy, the Lord saved me. Amen. About six months ago. Amen. Boy, I'm glad. I thank God I'm on my way to heaven. And I have that little old gospel track. Amen. And, I, and boy, I do that week in and week out. Amen. As I work on my job, I'd always have gospel track in my pocket. Amen. And, I, and I'd hand them out. Amen. And I, being a worker for God. Amen. Being a seed sower for this man called Jesus. Amen. And then the Lord said, boy, God, thank God they started it up a youth choir and the pastor come to me and said hey I go, you mind leading the youth amen I'm working with the youth and boy I'm telling you what we had a 16 year old girl amen boy she could play that piano upside down right side in outside out I mean she could make that thing hum and we got us a youth choir to go on and boy we was going from church to church during revivals and that youth would sing and boy they'd stand up there and they'd shout amen praise God. And boy, I tell you what, so many times I've seen God sit out in the building in a song and hearts begin to cry and hearts begin to break and people begin to rejoice. Why? Because God was right in the middle of it. Amen. Tonight you got preachers today. Amen. That will pastor churches and go on the internet and they get a little old sermon and they'll type that thing out and they'll bring it into the house of God and it's dead amen it's been dead for years and they're still using it and people will stand there and they'll say oh what a message and you want to know why they ain't nothing in there to stir their heart ain't nothing in there to get the old mind of thinking am I where am I supposed to be am I really doing what God wants me to do do I need to sell out a little bit more for this man I called Jesus I tell you today, I'm going to be honest with you. The more this church sells out to God, the bigger it'll get. Amen. And I, because God said, You do this, and I'm going to do this. Hey, I'm glad today. I'm Amen. serving a God. Ain't never broke a promise. Ain't never been slain. He's showing up. And what we need, honey, is people that'll sell out. They were sitting in the sanctuary. Amen. They was listening to Ezekiel read. I believe God was in there. And I believe the Lord would deal 
with the hearts of people. Amen. That's the same way it is in the Baptist church. We got people that have come in. We'll get in a high way of preaching. God's Holy Spirit will sit down. Amen. Right beside somebody. Say, hey, this is for you. What are you going to do with it? Amen. What are you going to do about it? You going to come and let me help you? Or are you going to try to do this thing on your own? And wind up getting yourself in a mess. Amen. And I, you know what them people in Ezekiel's time to do? Amen. They'd shirk it off. Right. Amen. Tonight, they people that goes home on a Sunday. Amen. They say before they ever get home, whenever they sit down at the table. Amen. They say, I can tell you right, well, sometimes what comes out of their mouth. Amen. Sometimes people will go home after Sunday. Amen. They're sitting down at the table. You know what they're thinking in their mind? And sometimes say it in their mind. Well, the only reason that preacher preached that because he knew I was going to be there. Hey, listen tonight. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Not God knew who was going to be here That's before right. I ever got yeah. out of bed this morning. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. This morning, God laid this up on my heart. Amen. Tonight, boy, and I'm telling you what, I told God, I said, I'll preach you, boy. Oh, God, I'll preach you just as hard as you want me to preach. Amen. Boy, they are a lot more into me than just to hear of the Word of God. Amen. Right. Boy, it's about time we get up off of our rumpled steel skin. Amen. Put a live boy under our arm. Get down on our knees at an altar and say, God, fill me. Amen. Till it runs out of the top. Amen. Oh, yeah. And I might be a witness for you, that I might be a worker for you. Amen. Amen, that I might enter into the fields of this whole world and that I might plow up the ground and God help me Lord that nothing will stand in my way but Lord I'll go all the way with you every time I get an opportunity every time I get a chance I'm going to mention of the name of Jesus Christ and God I want to be so close to you Lord that whenever I enter a room amen tonight your spirit just automatically begins to bounce off of me onto somebody else and that they might know that I've been in the presence of of the Holy God. Oh, I tell you what, whenever old Moses and Ann was up on the mountain, a transfiguration, amen, tonight. Oh, Peter and Ann, when they come down off of the mountain, there wasn't nobody in the world that stand but they had been with Jesus, amen. They could look at them and tell them and be in the presence of the Almighty God. I mean, I'm telling you that's what we need. Amen tonight. Amen. The reason you're miserable is because your tank's not full. That's right. And it's not God's fault nope. that it ain't full. Amen. We're, why do we sit here and die? Amen tonight. That's what, that's what God asked me in verse number 11. Why, old house of Israel, everything I've done for you, why are you going to sit here and die? I believe that God is when God passes over our churches in America today. I believe He looks down inside of our churches and He looks down into the hearts of men and women and He's asking that same question today. Why? Why are you going to sit here and die? Amen. And I, why do you choose to sit here and die when life is right before you? Life was in within the reach and grasp of your fingertips. Amen. Amen. Tonight there's an altar. Amen. There's a place to pray. There's a God in heaven. There's a Son that is sitting on the right hand. There's a Holy Spirit that's walking up and down the aisle of the church today. Amen. And you know what it's doing? It's trying to make a difference in every one of our lives. Amen. 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 It's wanting me to move up closer. God's want me to preach harder. The Lord Lord's want me, amen, tonight uh, to be a better person out in the fields. Uh, amen, tonight He's gave us uh, everything that we need to be equipped with. Uh, amen, tonight, but you got to get first things first. Uh, uh, some people's got the cart uh, in front of the horse. Uh, and they sign up in the church. Uh, amen, tonight they show up uh, every once in a while uh, and they say I'm on my way to heaven. Uh, honey, you need to get the cart uh, on the rear end of the horse. Uh, amen, and listen I know what God has to say it's right. one of these days we're going to die uh -huh. that's right and when we die if we've been a hearer only 
of the Word of God. He's going to say, depart from me. For I know you not. Amen. Tonight, this is the most serious thing you'll ever encounter in your life. And it all boils down to what am I going to do Amen. with this man called mm -hmm. Jesus? Come on. And you know what I do with my spare tire? Amen. When I'm running up and down the road, preaching and going to different places, I don't have my arm wrapped around my spare tire on the place. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know where that spare tire is at? It's in the trunk. Mm -hmm. Amen. Tonight it's out of sight. I don't ever think about that spare tire going up the road. Yeah. Amen. The only time I ever think about that spare tire is when I'm going up the road and all of a sudden something starts going ka thump, ka thump, ka thump. <laughs> Amen. Tonight, and then I automatically think, brother, boy, I hope, pray to God, my spare tire's got air in it. Amen. Yeah. Hope, pray, my jack, he's in the trunk. Amen. Tonight, that's the way a lot of us does Jesus. That's right. That's Amen. Right. Tonight, we'll get out of church today. Amen. Tonight, had no intentions of returning for a while. We'll throw the Bible down. Amen. Amen. Never Amen. pick it up, read it, never pray. Amen. Tonight, I never ask God for anything until we get into trouble. Right. Amen. Then when we get into trouble, we expect Him to right. give us the moon right. and the stars right. on the silver right. platter. Right. Amen. Right. Right. And what if we right. give it Him? Right. Amen. Tonight, yeah. we give it Him right. about an hour or two right. a month. Amen. Tonight, we say, Boy, hey, God, good. Amen. Tonight, you don't know how good He is. Right. Amen. Right. Whether it come hell or high water, I'm going to live for Him. Amen. Amen. My faithfulness for Him is going to be number one priority. Amen. Tonight, it was number one priority when I worked. Amen. It's going to be my number one priority since I'm retired. Amen. Tonight, listen tonight. Jesus said, I bought you. Amen. Tonight, I paid for you. Listen, tonight, whenever you buy something, amen, tonight, when I buy, when I bought my truck, I could do anything in the world I wanted to with that truck. If I wanted it to run in the river, I could run it in the river. That truck was mine, amen. If I wanted to hit a pole with it like I did the other night with my car, amen, tonight, boy, I tell you what, I could do it because it was mine. Listen, other night, whenever we buy something, we can do whatever we want to with it. Listen, tonight, the night you got saved, God bought you. Amen. He paid for you. When he died on Calvary, he Amen. said, you're not yours. You're mine. Amen. Amen. And, I, and submit to the will of God and I'll make you a fisherman and he's able to stand on the banks and to cast out a line. Amen. Amen. And I'll snag them souls for Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And I'll pay. I might glorify him. He refused. And I died to thank God. Won't to live in this man called hey, Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Oh, house of Israel. Bless you, Lord. Oh, house of Israel. Bless the Lord. Why do you sit here now? The Lord, I can see down through the crowd. I can see down through the crowd. God's already a thumping on people's fingers. Hey, Amen. <laughs> Trying to get their undivided attention. You can sit where you at this morning and live however you want to and die. Amen. That's right. But you can come to the one who's going to be in that tank to And you can live. You can have life everlasting. Listen tonight. 
What are we going to do with it? What are we going to do with this man called Jesus Christ? Amen. We got tracks back here in the can that I want people to take and hand out. But listen, if you're in here this morning and you're not where God wants you to be and you're not living the way God wants you to live, instead of taking one of them tracks and passing it out, won't you take it out and read? Amen. They may just read. Just apply it to your own life. And say, Lord, where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? Old Ezekiel was a watcher. I was studying that book. <coughs> Old Ezekiel was a at times. He couldn't even speak. And then I watched God just <coughs> give him a message. And when God had given him a message, the Lord had opened up his mouth and he'd just come out. Amen. Listen tonight. Let God use us tonight. Let God use you. Be a part of the winning team. Amen. Be a part of the team of Jesus Christ. Just let it come on back to that. Let's give us a song. We're going to stand and sing. Amen. While we're getting ready to sing the